Hi everyone, it's good to see you this morning. I hope all is well with you and yours. We are moving forward with the inspiration that comes from the resurrection um, accounts and the different gospels. And today we'll talk about Luke um, chapter 24, verse 36. Uh, and know that we just, uh, this, this is right immediately after um, the road to Emmaus, when we had two of the disciples hearing and meeting Christ for that first time. And so they ran back um, to talk to their other folks um, after they had um, that experience. And frankly, they had trouble convincing them that that's what was going on. And what they didn't realize at the time is that Christ was indeed with them, present with them. They just were not understanding that that's who he was until he said, peace be with you. That led them to understand that maybe that is Christ, but they still had a lot of questions. They couldn't believe their ears. And so Jesus showed them the holes in his hands and in his feet, uh, tried to explain that this is who he was and this is what was going on. And it wasn't until he sat down and ate fish with them that they understood that number one, he wasn't a ghost. And number two, that sharing of food in that last supper finally connected them with who he really was. Finally, they were able to see Christ and all that was going on um, in their lives at that one moment. And so the question that I have for you is, how do you experience Christ in the details of every moment? How can you be sure that in every day and every way um, that you have opened yourself to experience Christ's presence um, in shelter in place and dealing with all the things that we are dealing with as a community and as a household? There are ways to do this, and we know that Christ is fully present with us in every moment of every day, and that indeed uh, He is the ultimate source of saving grace. And so for us, when we get frustrated or upset or fearful, uh, that may actually separate us from being able to see Christ in the smallest of things. It's only when we allow our fear to dissipate and we allow our frustrations and anxieties to be, uh, you know, to leave us um, when we can fully open ourselves to the presence of God, even in the smallest of things. Oftentimes it can be in places that are unusual. It could be in the lap of a child that you saw. It could be um, watching my cats playing around on the floor or watching my chickens chase other birds. I mean, there's uh, things like that. There's, there's a peace in that for me. And I know that uh, whenever I experience peace, that Christ is right there with me at that moment. And so I pray that you're able to experience those um, moments of Christ's presence, even in the, the most mundane of things, because I think that's what's going to carry us forward in hope and in grace moving forward. But let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this moment to reflect, um, to think about how we see and encounter Christ in our lives, even in the most um, mundane details. And sometimes we get so caught up in what we're doing, we forget uh, to experience that presence that is always with us and to, to benefit from that presence by opening our hearts and opening our minds to receive the grace that is coming in nonstop from them. So um, allow us to pay attention uh, and to see those snippets of joy and the snippets of, of memories that can encourage us in our faith and allow us to witness what we know of that to other people. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you later.